What's up guys, Tim Little, Matt Allen, welcome back to Tactical Bassin and welcome back to the Holiday Buyer's Guide series. Today we're covering everything Ned Rigs. We are so excited to keep these buyer's guides rolling. Today is the last of the bait videos. We're ending it with Ned Rigs. Starting tomorrow, because we're still going seven days a week, we transition into the rod and reel combo videos. But we couldn't end this thing without talking Ned Rigs. It's just too large of a category and too important in the sport at this point. Yeah, the Ned Rig category is just completely completely exploded over the last few years. So many different new baits, different uh, formulas with baits, different shapes, all sorts of stuff. So we have some of our favorite baits in the worm category, some creature cat, you know, creature category, and then to finish it off, hooks and gear. You wanna get started? Yeah, let's do it. To kick it off, you cannot do a Ned Rig video without talking about the original Z-Man Finesse TRD, the bait that started it all. Uh, it's that dead action, right? You you rig that on your jig head, you throw it out there, it stands up on bottom and you just leave it alone. Give it little movements and let it sit. After all these years, I'm still not 100% sure why they eat these things the way they do, but they do, we all know it, right? And judging by the 100 plus versions of a Ned Rig now on the market, everyone else figured it out too. That Finesse TRD, opened one of the largest categories that we now have in bass fishing. One really cool thing though, is that Tackle Warehouse now has the exclusive on finesse TRDs that are scented. Uh, they come with Procure in the bags. I haven't actually had the time to throw them for bass yet. We did it for redfish recently and it definitely made a difference. You got way more bites when that thing was scented with those redfish. It will be interesting as we go through winter to get the opportunity to throw the scented baits consistently and get a comparison, but I think that is pretty cool. Yeah, it was definitely noticeable. We'll see if it translates, you know, from redfish to bass, but I was back there, I was throwing a different bait and I was back there with actual Procure bottle, like soaking it up because he was getting so many bites on the on the Ned with the Procure on it. All right, next up, this guy right here. This is the Robo Worm Ned Worm. You guys have heard us talk about these baits for a long time. What you get with Robo Worm is their colors, okay? It is a, a three inch bait, but you get your favorite Robo Worm colors. So Margarita Mutilator, you get, there's a lot of different colors, Desert Craw, People's Worm. Yep. So they don't, they're not high float like the TRD. They're not a Laztec, but you still catch a lot of fish on one bait. And you, again, you get those, those colors that we've all learned and loved from, uh, from Robo Worm. You know, a lot of people focus on those baits standing up straight, and I think there's absolutely a time and a place for it, but there's also a time and a place for those baits that lay down, because that thing doesn't sit dead flat on the bottom. As we've seen it in enough underwater footage, it sits up just a little, and those fish, there's a time and a place for that. But there's no question there is a time and a place to stand up. That brings us to the Yamamoto. The Yamamoto three inch Ned floater, the name says it all, it is a floater. So you get, again, that stand up, that true vertical presentation in some of Yamamoto's amazing colors. Uh, you know, Electric Shad exactly. as a perfect example of what those guys are capable of. All three of these are more of that dead action, dead action, no action. It's all profile. Think the coldest water of winter. When it really bottoms out and you're barely moving that bait at all, that dead action, just letting that thing soak. Uh, the colder that water gets, the things in the water, the bugs, the minnows, the fish themselves. Everything slows down. Everything slows down. And that slower presentation will get those bites. Yeah, these are your dead action baits. Like like Matt said, no cold water. You're sitting there shivering. You're, you're just kind of dragging along. For whatever reason, the fish just eat them. So if you're looking for a dead action bait, those are our top three. Over here, however, we have some more of the warmer water baits, some baits that have a lot of action. I'll go ahead and start it off. This is the X-Zone Ned Zone. When I first saw this in a tank at the Classic, sitting again, it's another one of those baits that sits straight up. 
but it has a bulbous tail on it. So there's a ton of action. Even though you're not moving your bait per se, that tail up there is just dancing, right? And it it just triggers fish. When fish are looking at it, we've seen it underwater footage, the the foot, you know, the tail's moving, those fish just kind of pull up and then they just suck it in. There's yeah. there's not I don't know why, but it's just a, a non-intrusive bait, it's ultra finesse, but having that movement matters when that every everything's moving down there like we talked about on the cold water warm water when everything's moving the bait fish everything you want a little bit more action than those dead action baits yep next one up from duo realis it's their wriggle nd slim we recently did a review of these baits very similar uh, in terms of that bulbous tail but it's a smaller overall profile it's also a stretchy material full of salt Something about both of these baits, the baits that have those bulbous tails, Tim talked about how they'll just move in the water. Something that I think people overlook is when bass, it's one thing when bass are fired up and they come in and just smash that thing. But when bass come in to inspect a bait, to sit and look at it, I don't think the average angler considers that when that bass is moving towards a bait, they literally move water. water. Yeah, They literally push a wave. And when you've got a bait with a bulbous tail that is standing up, just their wave of water will cause that thing to move. And that, so you're doing nothing and that bait responds and it, it makes a difference. Those bulbous tails where it just gets that natural flow going is special. It really is. Next up is the Reigns R&D Fat. This is probably the most finesse out of all the Ned Rigs. It's really thin. Again, tapers tapers up to a fatter bulbous tail and then tapers down to a little, I don't even know what you want to call that. A little stinger on there. lots of action. Again, you can really downsize your hook. This is probably the ultra finesse net out of all the baits, the most yeah, finesse definitely. out of all of them. Uh, you can downsize your hook, downsize your line. But again, a ton of action. This thing gets bit. You know, if, if a few years ago you had told us like, you know, some days they're not going to want the Ned Rig, that's not finesse enough. Right. We would have thought that was a joke, but we're there. It's absolutely a thing. So going down to that little guy, down to a size one hook instead of a one aught on your Ned Rig, you can go to lighter line. It makes a difference. And then last in this category of baits that have some movement, it's going to be that Missile Baits Ned Bomb. Uh, it's not a mistake that that plutonium green pumpkin is the one that's in my hand that is one of those special special colors but the thing here with the ned bomb is that flat paddle tail i like to rig this thing and i'm sure you do the same jig hook coming out on the flat side that way when you bump that thing that whole tail is waggling and this is my crossover bait where I'm, I'm really not even fishing it like a Ned Rig traditionally should be fished. It's not really dead action for me. This is a bait that when the fish are a little more aggressive, but I still want that little profile, I can give it little pops. And that thing just, I mean, it moves in the water. That is a very, very unique bait and one that we've done so much damage with. Yeah, it's a great bait. Okay, switching gears. Now we're going to jump over to kind of the creature category. Okay. TRD Bugs. This is another bait by Z-Man, a Laztec material. It has that beaver style uh, shape to it. This is awesome. Fished alone on a on a Ned jig head. It's a great jig trailer. We use yep. we use this on a lot of things. But that guy right there, it's a it's a miniature sized uh, craw. It's uh, like a beaver uh, reaction. It's kind of like that that uh, Reaction Innovations Sweet Beaver shape. There's a lot of those style shapes on the market, but having it in a Laztec, having it slimmed down in that kind of a craw or creature profile, that thing gets eaten as well. And that one, the third thing we do with that one is we use that one with BFS a lot. Mm -hmm. Put it on a little micro Texas rig and we're flipping that thing as a downsized creature bait. Yeah, the downsized creature bait, you can throw it on the free rig. You can, there's all sorts of things you can do it. But as far as a Ned rig, it gets eaten really, really well. It does. Next one up from Savage Gear. This is their Ned Salamander. Some of you have maybe never heard of this bait. Those of you that have listened to us ramble on this category before know that this is one of my all-time favorite Ned baits. I fell in love with this thing the moment I saw it. Before I even fished with it, 
I declared that as my favorite Ned bait. And it, it rang true. It is a true, you know, salamander type profile. So it's got little legs on it, full ribbed body, also has that bulbous tail. And because the body is ribbed, the actual core of the body is paper thin. So there is a ton of movement out of the back section of that bait, but it's got a true salamander or lizard type profile. And it's just a bait that I have done extremely well on. It's one of those baits where if I think a lot of people are throwing a Ned rig, like wintertime tournaments, or for us, when we're fishing Highland Reservoirs in the winter on a pressured fishery, you know everybody's got a Ned rig tied on. That's just part of it. That's one of those baits where I'm like, I've got something that these fish aren't seeing, and it catches them. It does. Uh, last but not least, certainly not least, the TRD Gobies. Matt and I, we walked away from ICAST this year thinking this is one of the best baits we saw in the entire event. Yep. Again, it's a little swim bait. Sculpin, little bait fish, Gobies, this thing covers them all. But again, a Laztec swim bait, you put that on your little Ned jig head, you can put it on a little ball head or little swim bait head, but having a little swim bait in the Ned category is key and they they killed it on this one it looks so good it, <laughs> it looks, looks so it looks good. just like a little goby but uh, if you're a fisherman that has a lot of little bait fish swimming around check this guy out because they straight up eat it that bait's cool because you can i mean you can treat it like a swim bait you can throw it and swim it you can hop bottom with it where it's down there pecking bottom yep and you can fish it just like a regular ned rig you can do all the above with that little guy all right let's uh, quickly cover heads here we grabbed three heads uh, that are all just a little bit different. Everybody's got a favorite head. Uh, my standard from Z-Man, the Nedlocks HD. Like if I could just, if somebody just said grab one and go, that's the one that I have thrown through the years. A very, very consistent head. Uh, it holds Z-Man plastic extremely well, but it holds everything else well too. And it's got a fairly stout hook in it. It's a very, very reliable head, even if you think you're going to get around bigger fish. You want me to cover these? Or you got uh, it. I got it. All right. Um, this one right here, BKK Silent Chaser. This is a newer hook uh, for us to use. We saw this at ICAST this year, last year. It's uh, They kind of took the normal Ned head and they put grooves in it. They put uh, little wedges on it. So you have a lot more feel when it's down there. You're dragging bottom. It kind of catches and hangs up an O'Shaughnessy style hook in there, real stout hook. You don't have to worry about bending out a hook on any of these Ned rigs, but uh, it's a coated head. It's uh, They have the the uh, the weight and everything just engraved on it. So they went above and beyond. They have the hook size engraved on here. Uh, we've been using this and been really happy with it. Haven't lost a, a ton of fish. You know, sometimes when you're using the too light of a hook or the wrong gear, you can lose fish, but we haven't had any of those issues and been super happy with that guy right there. Again, that's that silent chaser. And uh, they it's a, they took a lot of time to design that head. They did. I really like that head. It's just, it's a premium head, yeah. right? That's, that's the difference. You've got a, a standard Ned head and then one where they were like, let's fix the Ned problem. heads right. and, and just started correcting things. And then the last one is going to be that Ned Locks EWG. Uh, the Nedlocks EWG was actually something I was very late to the party on. It's a EWG style hook, so you're putting a Ned bait on there completely weedless. I was resistant to this head because in my mind, not having an exposed hook, I'm not right. going to hook up as well. Uh, I finally, my hand finally got forced because we've been fishing out of the jet boat a lot. And when you're in those rivers, you're drifting. I mean, getting snags is not an option. You can't even stop the boat sometimes. <laughs> So I started using these and I was shocked to find that I have no hookup issues whatsoever. I had totally been blowing it. And these have become now one of my main Ned heads uh, because the hookup ratio was way better than I had anticipated. It's a solid head. You can put a lot of pressure on it uh, and it just alleviates a lot of the frustration that you can get when you're throwing that exposed Ned head and getting stuck all the time. This resolves that. Let's jump into some rods and reels. Yeah. You want me to kick it off? Sure. All right. <laughs> We're going to start at the top. Uh, when it comes to any category, there's guys that are on a budget. There's guys that want the best bang for the buck. And there's guys that just plain want the best. best. Yeah. Uh, the best Ned Rig rod that we have found, the G Loomis 
NRX Plus, it's that 821. That's their Ned Rig Rod, the NRR, Ned Rig Rod. Uh, just an unbelievable rod. Insanely sensitive, insanely light tip, uh, paired up to an X-Sense to really light braid. Uh, and then, of course, you tie a six to seven pound leader down to a five pound leader, uh, just depending on situation. But it is the combination of that insane sensitivity and then that super soft tip section allows you to line watch. So dead of winter, you're freezing cold, your reaction time goes down. Even when you feel the bites, sometimes your reaction time is just slower, particularly when we're fishing those dead action baits, watching that rod tip for deflection. And you, it's shocking, but you really will, as you throw it, get used to the weight of a of a Ned head out there and you know what your rod tip looks like with that on it. And when it looks any more than that, you stick them. And it truly, you can go through, you don't have to feel a thing and you can stick fish just by sight. But having that increased sensitivity just takes it to another level. That is the best Ned combo we've ever used. It, yeah, it's it's awesome. Um, yeah, and, and like Matt talked about, the dead of winter, that's for me, that's when I do go back to the exposed hook. Again, you are slower reaction time. A lot of times when you're looking for that deflection, it starts loading up, you reel down to them and those fish already have hooked themselves. Yep. So it's uh, really important, especially on those dead action in the, in the cold of winter. Uh, for me, the 610 Medium Light X-Pride. This is a fantastic rod uh, for the price point. It's about half of that combo, maybe a little less. Uh, it is an ultra light tip. So you can see that deflection. You're, you're, I mean, we're throwing like one tenth of an ounce, one eighth of an ounce, really small, sixteenth of an ounce heads. So you want to be able to see that deflection when you're throwing that, just dragging that bait. So this guy right here, that six ten medium light X Pride, super sensitive, and I have that paired up with a Vanford twenty five hundred. Again, braid two liter, like Matt talked about, having that braid just adds that sensitivity and. Uh, Having a, a rod with the, the right tip to see those bites before you feel them is a must, especially in those conditions. And then also, for more of the budget-friendly combo, this is a Bass X. This is a St. Croix Bass X 610 Medium Light Extra Fast. Again, it's all about that tip. So even though we're dropping down in price point, we're trying to get the same actions in these rods because that is key. And then again, that's paired up. That's that Shimano. This is the uh, Miravel. Awesome reel for the price point. No issues with uh, durability. Again, paired up with braid to leader, getting that extra sensitivity. This is a great combo for your light, all of your light finesse techniques, but it's an awesome combo combo for Ned Riggin and again paired up with Braid to Leader you're getting that extra sensitivity. Yeah you know, the thing about that com well all three of these combos frankly is that they're incredibly lightweight for their price like that Miravel weighs almost nothing on that Bass X you're talking about a budget friendly combo that's still super fun to fish with right it's not just it's not a hunk of lead in your hand, right? Sometimes you pick up a rod and they just weigh too much. And that's a super light combo. Same with the X-Pride. That's what makes the X-Pride so special. They're insanely light, insanely sensitive. With a Vanford in there, you're in that finesse line of Shimano reels. Super, super lightweight. And then, I mean, the NRX speaks for itself, right? right. We don't even have to talk about that. But, guys, this wraps up the bait portion of our buyer's guide series. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed coming seven days a week, day after day after day. We are not done yet. Now we're shifting gears to those rod and reel combos, the video that the videos that most people have been waiting for, and they coincide with Tackle Warehouse's rod sales. That is why we held off so that you could get the information in time when those rods were on sale and you could save a buck or your loved ones could because they will still ship in time for Christmas if that's what you're trying to do. We will see you tomorrow to start working our way through the combos. Tomorrow we start with $100 rod and reel combos or maybe it's 100 ish <laughs> We'll see. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon. See you guys.